welcome everybody to the 8 Gamer presented by 5 Pin Universe. We have our preliminary match between um, qualifier, tw oh, qualifier 15, Jeremy Clotier, uh, playing out a hypertension escape. Is that correct? Yep. Yeah. And Julian Nadu, did I say your last name right? That's fine, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's fine. So that, I did That's it. a polite way of saying no. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, number 18 qualifier, and you're playing out of Orleans, are you? That's correct. Awesome. Um, so, before we get this match started, have you guys got any major practice in besides the couple minutes before you had uh, this match, since it's been nine months since uh, qualifying? First time throwing balls. I, I came yesterday, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're in for a match. How did uh, how did it feel there for your, your little bit of practice you guys did? Felt all right. Yeah, it is. Everything seems good. <laughs> <laughs> good. good. No, no major flaws in the swing yet. You'll find that out we, through game one probably. No, we gotta no bad habits yet. Strong, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> well, all right, guys. Well, you know the rules. It's three game total pinfall. We'll talk to you after each game. Uh, have a great game and. Start well. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Well, good, guys. All righty. Here we go. We could be in for a match. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, Jeremy said that he threw two minutes of warm-up, and that's the first time in nine months he's thrown. Uh, yeah, this this could be... This could go either really good, or it could be, it could be a dog of a match. And <laughs> Either way, it'll be great. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, uh, these guys both qualified with 2200s. Uh, Jeremy had 2233 and Jer uh, Julian had 2210. So fairly close comparable scores. Um, Julian kind of had a, a low game of 160, but he threw a 355, a 342, and a 323. That fixes any score pretty quick. Yeah, you know what? That's, that's the side of like somebody with some... Uh some mental fortitude for sure starting off with a buck 61 and you know still averaging 280 is or 275 is pretty incredible um yeah quick quick turn of events really quick so that's awesome good for him yeah and then jeremy's uh had a high game of 382 and his low game was 231 so he was fairly consistent besides two games where he shot the 382 and the 320 so he can shoot some big scores at this three game match is uh Kind of in his wheelhouse, is my guess. Absolutely. And you know, coming coming back after a bit of a break, you know, when they said no bad habits, that's that's a real thing. There's there's lots of times that people can come back from a, a long hiatus and just all of a sudden lose all those little bad habits that you uh, that you built up over a season for sure. Yeah, yeah, we all know those bad habits uh, are something they're hard to shake. So usually, when you come back for a fresh season. You kind of you feel like it's a brand new thing. You start out hot, right? But, totally. Uh, and uh, and, and you can see the, the rust. Here. <laughs> you can see the rust. <laughs> yeah, there, there's, there could be a few frames like that. That was a great shot by Jeremy there. Good cover uh -huh. on the three pin spare. But we have a five spare and a five dash for Julian and a three or a three pin, ten yeah. dash and a three pin spare. At least they're consistent. I guess you could look at it that way. Consistency is king. <laughs> it's, it could take a couple frames, but I'm sure these guys will pull it back together. Oh, yeah. Uh, like, it's been a long break for these guys, right? Nine months since they qualified last December. It's, uh, it's not an easy feat to come back, especially when you weren't practicing the whole time while you were off, too. Totally. Good, good spare by Jeremy there. Uh, Julian threw a really good shot there. Luckily, he had some pretty good fingers on that ball too, and had a bit of a crunch, but still uh, couldn't quite carry that the left two pin there. Yeah, try and get Julian in our full shot here, so we don't cut off his head by the scoreboard. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> solid, okay, uh, solid Jeremy spare. got his first hit on the middle. Chop in four. Good count. And Julian got his first hit on the middle in three. Left corner spare. 
Yeah, they're picking their, their single spin sparrows and a chop sparrow. That's, he's starting to feel it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so this is the last of the preliminary matches to be filmed. So we'll try and get this one up on YouTube as soon as we can. Hopefully everybody's seen the other prelims already. Uh, some really good matches out there. A lot of really close games. Yeah, we're uh, we're slowly getting through all of this, and uh, there's been some absolutely fantastic bowling from some of the people, and there have been some, you know, some of those, some of those grinding matches are just as exciting. You never know what's going to happen down the line. So, um, it's been a pretty good experience so far. That's for sure. Yeah, yeah. One doesn't. It's nice to watch everybody throw strikes for a while, but it gets boring. The The grinder matches are the fun ones to watch. You never know what the next shot's going to be and when the person's going to clutch up and throw a double. And Yeah, yeah, but that, that's that's exactly it, too. Huh? Looks like looks like they bumped the shoe, but it... <laughs> it held, it held. For, for the listeners out there, uh, Jeremy's using a, a iPod or an iPhone tripod to... Make sure it's good and stable, and Julian's using a, a stool and a shoe, and I think it's fantastic. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Julian looks to be lo looks like he's found a groove. He, he throws a ball real smooth, um, and those two shots were absolutely fantastic. And then Jeremy looks like he's found it too. He, he comes back with a with a double for himself. So this match can be turning around here real quick. Yeah, yeah. Finally hit their strides. Uh, great shot by Jeremy. Good turkey. I really like the way Julian throws a ball. He's super square at the line. Yeah. Right over top of his shot. Tons of fingers on it. Turkey for each of them. I bet you they both wish they could erase those first five frames. You know, yeah, you're you're probably <laughs> right, but at least at least they were matching each other to start. Yeah. And there's a four bagger for Jeremy. Awesome. Let's hope that shoe can hold up for the rest of the match here. <laughs> Looks shaky out there. <laughs> Ooh, twelve oh, count. Did he get? Oh, he, the, he almost he almost got away with it. Yeah, almost rolled it. The other ones he was hitting right pocket. That one looked like it came in a little high on the left, but uh, still a good shot and leaves him a single pin spare here. So. Hopefully he takes advantage. Uh, Julian opened an eight here. Um, still has decent score going. He's still pretty close to Jeremy, especially with Jeremy missing that single pin conversion. So that'll, that'll have Jeremy finish at 273. Julian could bang out for, well, pick his pin and bang out for 295. So he could have a close match coming down here after the first game, that's for sure. Yeah. That's a better shot by Julian. 73 for Jeremy. So I know we, we've expressed this in the other preliminary matches, but uh, pace of play is fairly close. Like, um, if yeah. this was a, a true match, Jeremy would only be literally a frame ahead. So. Fairly same tempo. You've seen Julian take a couple of breaks off, cut, come to the back and regroup for a couple seconds and then go back up there, but uh, those are two really good shots by Julian. Yeah. Ooh, we got that in slow-mo. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, that's a big shot. That means that means Julian's going to be going into the next game with uh, a lead, not not a substantial lead, but a lead regardless. So uh, that's a that's a big turkey coming down the line. They're both going to have really really good games after shaky starts. So that's what this game is about, right? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Two ninety five. Awesome. Alrighty, we'll get these guys in here shortly. Uh, 
Alrighty. Oh, I did that old thing again. Uh, <laughs> hey, good. Uh, not the best starts for both of you guys, but uh, great finishes. A little rusty out of the gate. <laughs> Yeah, you, you guys are both a little yeah a little shaky out of the gate. Uh, I mean, Ju Julian a couple of fives and and Jeremy uh, a couple of three pins. And I, I thought you almost had the third one in a row, but but uh, you kept you kept sparing them. So and then the game turned around. You guys both found rhythms and you both found a strike zone for you guys. And that that game turned really quick. So uh, good recovery, guys, both of you. Um, so we have Jillian with 295 and Jeremy with 273, so only a 22 pin difference. Um, you guys obviously made, how did you make the adjustments halfway through that game? I just think it's a couple extra balls throwing. <laughs> yeah, those are your extra warm up. That, that works, yeah. <laughs> and you, Jillian, what, you, what change did you make to uh, make that adjustment? Uh, just the same. I just felt a little warmer going into the, into the third and fourth frame, and yeah, yeah. Well, it makes total sense. Take, it, I guess. yeah, it takes a little bit to warm up and get going again. Sure. Well, all right, it's a twenty-two pin difference. So, uh, good luck in the second game. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Well, good We had the typical Dexter frozen face for a couple seconds. Everybody enjoys that. Did you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah, it it was only there for maybe 10 seconds. Nah, I think it's your shitty internet. Oh, that could be too. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to Elon about that. <laughs> that's right. Hey, it's still an improvement. <laughs> yeah, he put right. up an entire satellite for you. Stop complaining. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the, Makes these two, things possible. <laughs> that, that's right. That's right. Uh, two two good shots to start. It looks like Jeremy just got burned on the a uh, bit of a blow through on the right hand side there. Uh, yeah. Maybe he came in and touched in. That kind of happens every once in a while. And Julian just absolutely buries it in the pocket for a strike. I don't know if there was a slight earthquake happening there in Ottawa, but uh, looks like a score score sheet settled down there. <laughs> <laughs> That's a really good shot by Jeremy. Yeah. Ooh, heavy. Split for Julian. Yeah, the the touch just a touch thick on the right hand side there. And throw throwing that little hook shot. That's that's a possibility coming in thick on right. Thick on left, that that could go. Yeah. But thick right, that's that's trouble for sure. And Jeremy looks locked in. Like all three yeah. shots have been absolutely solid. You gonna see uh, a quick pace here from you think? Yeah, I think so. Ooh, and commentator's curse. That time it's all your fault. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I'll I'll take the blame for that. It looked it looked like he just pulled up a little early on that one, trying to see what he was getting. He does he does tend to pull up a little bit on his shots, but that that looked uh, that looked like he pulled up a little early on that one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right, so solid start. You're always looking for over 104, so that's Jeremy's on a decent pace here. I look for more than 105, so I don't know what you're talking about, but <laughs> <laughs> Julian got a nice tap on the two pin there. Yeah, three pin slides into the left wall and then falls off back into the right or to the left two pin. That was uh, beautiful. <laughs> Ooh, just Ooh, missed. Just, yeah. uh, Jeremy's, you know, Jeremy's hitting everything he's aiming at. Yeah. Yeah, I just missed that one uh, three pin spare or that 12 count spare in the 10th frame. If he would have made that, it would have been those 22 pins would have only been seven, probably. Yeah, absolutely. Ooh, roasted. Right pocket, right corner. Yeah, it's that, that going away shot, and if you if you end up hitting it a touch thin, that ball's gonna hit square into the front face of that three pin and go straight through it rather than going into deflecting into the two pin. So, yeah. 
Yeah. Um, it, it's a good angle, but you, you just that it, if it comes in thin, it's hard to see from this. But if it comes in thin, that's that's definitely a possibility. Yeah. Julian's gonna have to throw in a couple strikes here to get back into this, and yeah, that's the first go. one. <laughs> Great shot. Here we start start to see a little bit of the pace of play. Julian kind of struggled a little bit off the bat, so he's a few frames behind, but kind of evens themselves out by the end of the game. Good cover by Jeremy. That's a big thing in these matches is, you know, you, you, you can make a mistake here and there, but you better cover them up. Yeah. Yeah, if you can keep the if you keep the marks uh, black, right? As long as you don't make too big of a mistake with that split or miss your side spares or something like that, you can minimize the damage. But uh, once you start making those those big openings, that's where you really fall behind quick. Totally. So both Julian and Jeremy just nicked the middle on those shots there. Uh, Julian nicked the middle and it fell over and got the the three pin two. So that's a that's a big. Bon a whole bunch of bonus points for him on that shot, which is big on a double, that's for sure. Ooh. Missed. And Derry missed too. Yeah, both missed the makeable spares there, right? It's going to be kind of neat to see after this is all said and done, going to compile like the, the tournament stats and see what the, the percentage of corner spares and three pin spares and all that stuff. It would be kind of neat to get a a decent pool size to see kind of what the average of the competitive scene is, even though these guys are, like they said, they're going to be super rusty. Still be give a, a fairly accurate average. Yeah, and the, the, you could see the correlation between scores and, and wins, and um, it's important information for the people out there for sure. Yeah. Helps add to the sport, I think. You you know, this guy's going up for a left corner spare. It's made 94% of the time by competitive players, or a chop spare is made only 62% of the time, or whatever the situation is, right? It gives you a little context to the shot. Yeah, exactly. Or, or you can look at it, too, and see, see a match where, you know, it's a close match down the line, and somebody may have hit the middle more, but their split percentage was so much higher. And, you know, that that's the difference in the match, or... You know, or, or the opposite. They, those those are very comparable, but somebody somebody missed, you know, a couple more corner spares, and that that could cost you really quick, right? So. Yeah, yeah. Jeremy's gonna want these last three frames back. Miss that chop off spare, and then followed with head pin, head pin. Yeah, and he was he was on a really big roll there too. He had yeah. uh, it looked he looked really sharp out of the gate, and not that he isn't sharp, it just looks like maybe something came off and shot just a little and. Yeah, 221 second game. But could could still not be losing a whole lot this match. This yeah, match, so. yeah. Julian covered that a little bit. Like, So he's sitting at 200 with a frame in hand yet. So obviously if he finishes strong, he'll gain some more pins on Jeremy. But if he struggles again in 10, it's uh, not that big of a lead. Yeah. Yeah, you're absolutely right. I got the strike. There you go. But, like I said, in this type of format, if you're not ahead a couple hundred going into the last game, is it really safe? We've seen 385s in this tournament. We've seen some monster scores. Wow, spoilers carry. Spoilers. Yeah, that, that was a spoiler. <laughs> <laughs> the three the three eighty isn't a spoiler though. <laughs> the Mike and Bradley match that's already been released, right? Yes, it has. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is a big tenth frame for Julian. Uh, he he could have came out as a wash this match, or he could have gained pins, and uh, that tenth frame really. Like, it gives him an extra 40 points, so um, solid 10 frame for him. Yeah. I will bring these guys in. I'll try not to butcher the transition this time. All right. 
Uh, big finish, Julian. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that was that was a, a really clutch 10th frame. It was. I don't know if you guys, either of you, have like gone back and forth and looked at the scores at all, but. Uh, you know, uh, J Jeremy, you started that that game out super hot. You were, and you know what? In all honesty, you were you were hitting everything you were aiming at for the most part, minus you know the chop spare. But you know, you come into the tenth, uh, the last couple frames, and you you get a, a couple unfortunate head pins, and that's kind of the way it goes. But you looked super solid out there, and Julian, you had a couple misses in the middle there. Or nearing the end, but um, you know, if you if you go if you open tenth frame, this game is a complete wash, and you end up throwing you end up throwing the turkey in the tenth frame to give you an extra forty pins. So that, that's that's a clutch finish for you. Thank you. Yeah. So the score right now, Julian has five fifty five, and Jeremy has four ninety four. So it's sixty one pins in Julian's favor. So uh, a frame and a half. Not not a huge lead, but obviously a decent lead. But uh, as we've seen, Jeremy, you were on a roll right off the bat there and then kind of struggled at the end. Those last three frames, that chop off and then the head pin, head pin really slowed your game down. Absolutely. Uh, what do you know or do you recognize what happened in those last three frames? Or I just got flat. Yeah. No rotation on the ball the last three frames. Right. So that's obviously something you're going to focus in on the last to start this next game. Yeah. Yeah. And you, Julian, you uh, figured out in the last frame you all send through three strikes after missing the middle two frames in a row? Um, yeah, I'm not sure what happened, but uh, I'll definitely try and uh, just keep rolling off of those. Try and replicate that. Yeah. Solid all right. strategy. Yeah, really good. Well, we hope the shoe holds up and your battery life on your camera holds up because uh, this last game should be good. 61 pin advantage. Good luck, guys, in this last match. Thanks. Thank you. Welcome, guys. It's always funny, like, um, going into these preliminary matches and stuff. A lot of these guys obviously haven't done the live stream thing before, and then they're not really know what to expect what questions we're going to ask and then when you ask them a specific question there's oh uh <laughs> gotta think about it and <laughs> the guys that have already played their their semi-finals or their sorry their round of 16 matches and stuff like that they they know what's coming so the yeah. interviews get better as the tournament goes on <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh, I, I love the honesty, though, Ju Julian. Yeah, I don't know really what the difference is, but I'll try to replicate it. Perfect. <laughs> I, I love I love the honesty. That's good. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So, Jeremy good surf for Jeremy. Spare. That's good. Solid, two shot, solid shots there. Julia may have gone for a washroom break. May have. <laughs> we don't know, unfortunately. <laughs> but once again, oh, beauty of the off? beauty of the tournament. Yeah, chop. Um, literally, Jillian could sit down and have a drink of water and see how Jeremy's start is. That kind of either put a little bit of pressure on himself or however they wish to play that way, right? Yeah. It's so a bit outside. Start. Yeah, great start by Jeremy there. Corner spare, chop spare. Um, again, looks looks sharp on his target, so now he's just trying to find a way to throw strikes. Because mm -hmm. he's going to need a few this game. Yeah. Yeah, he's got to find 61 but, pins, right? You know, he just, he just made up 15 already. Or 10 already, so... A nice strike there. You never know when those two pins are going to make a difference. Oh, and yeah. a solid double by Jeremy. There you go. Uh, Julian just okay. missing to the right. And Jeremy throws his turkey there. There you go. That's, that's uh, a big jump right there real quick. Yeah. This may be uh, one of those situations where Jeremy gets finished early 
and sit, sits back and watches Julian throw every shot almost, right? Oh, totally. And I, I mean, really, ultimately, when you're in this position, that's what you want to do, in my mind, right? You, you know that you're going to have to throw a big game. You know, you know every shot's going to matter. So full effort, all shots. Don't even bother looking because it doesn't matter. You're just going to go out there and throw as many strikes as you can. And uh, he's found a real rhythm right now. So, um, yeah. and, the, and the other side of it, too, is if, if Julian does peak, if Julian does peak, that does put a little bit of pressure back on him. And that, that's kind of really what you're trying to do. Yeah. Um, he's not yeah. going to be happy with that head pin there, but he's, uh, he's given himself a big jump right out of this gate. So. Right. Yeah, sure Julian. And then uh, get back onto the strike train. Yeah, Julian's had a little bit of a slower start to this game, but as we've seen the last two games, he finishes strong. So, absolutely. Ooh. Jerry went head pin seven. Yeah. Got the kick on the deuce. Extra, extra four sticks there, right? Or extra two oh, pins, two. sorry. Yeah. Yeah. So Julian's <laughs> going to have 46 in three. So Jeremy's pretty much erased that, erased that uh, early deficit, but he's starting to get pushy again. So he's going to have to find a way to stay aggressive and finish this game not on punches. Yeah. Oh, there, Julian got a strike. The old country internet's kicking in here. <laughs> Hopefully it catches up here shortly so you can see the scores a little bit better. But yeah, uh, Julian missed again to the right. He's missing to the right, it seems like, quite a bit. Yeah, I wonder I wonder if that's a speed thing. Feet getting there before the, ha the hand a little. Yeah. Not giving it a chance to have his shoulders square up. Oh, cover. Good cover. Oh, Jeremy oh, made the correction. Yeah, corners rolled. gone, I think. Yeah, I think it rolled out. Yep. Yep. He can bang out for 327, which definitely definitely puts some pressure on Julian when he's looking at, you know, 105. Well, so. if he shoots 327, he needs to get the 266, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. big, big roll. push. Yeah. Big push. Both two pins rolled out on that shot. All right. Julian got the chop off. Needs needs to make this spare. He's got to be thinking he's got to get the two and a half, right? If totally. he's if he's looked at what Jeremy's doing. Oh, oh he got the roll out too. He get he gets the thick strikes. He's get the thin strikes. He's uh he's feeling it now. Yeah. Big shots. Really big shots. And Julian missed the corner or the chop spares, so things are getting real tight here. Twelve. Three twenty-four. Yes, sir. Meaning Julian has to get the two sixty-three to tie. Um, he won the first two games, so that's the tiebreaker. But two sixty-three to tie, two sixty-four to win. Uh, you know what? Uh, lots of props to Jeremy on this too. You know, back against the wall, coming down. Um, he knows he needs to throw a big game, and you know what he did. I mean, he had two punches in the middle, and those aren't bad shots at all. Just um, yeah. that he he threw big shots when he needed to. So kudos to him. Yeah, exactly. Now, now we just got to see if Julian answers. Right. Yep. Now we're looking for that two sixty three number for Julian. That really allows him oh. really one mistake. You know, he could bang out for two ninety four. Yeah. So it can't even be a it can't even be an open. It has to be it, it, a count. Yeah. Can't be a head pin. Right. Oh, there's triple there's going go. into ten. Here, Here we, we go. go. Here we go, <laughs> coming down the line. Yeah. But like Jeremy, we said, Jeremy's sweating in the back room. Yeah, we know Julian finishes strong, right? His pace of play is picked up. It's a pressure shot. Oh, oh nice. 
Oh right. boy. It all comes down to this. It doesn't doesn't need all of it now, right? You just can't pu can't punch. I think is only punch gets him to two seventy. Oh no, he's good. Gets him to two sixty one. Then needs to pick a stick. There we go. Through the strike. Huge wow. finish. Unreal finish. Jeremy finishes so strong to put all the pressure on him. <laughs> that, uh, that's incredible. <laughs> Both of them. That's amazing. 23 pin difference. Julian 841 to Jeremy's 818. Wow. Wow. If Julian could start a game, he would destroy everyone. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's bring Jeremy and Julian for the final interview here. Hey, guys. Hey, wow. just to let you know, my phone's at like 3%. <laughs> no. You're, oh, gone. your phone? You're, you're, it's fine. Yeah. Um, so 841 to 818, Jeremy, you finished with a 324 to put all the pressure on Julian. I'm not sure if he knew what he needed. He needed 263 to win and ends up throwing five bagger to clinch it. Unreal. Uh, great, great bowling by both of you guys and super clutch by both of you. Jeremy, you knew you needed to throw a big game. And you, you came out and you did it. And you, you had two punches in the middle that was tough, but you came right back and you threw a whole bunch of extra strikes and shot 327. That's that's massive. You, that's exactly what you needed to do. Um, yeah. Julian, you started you started out shaky again. And then, man, you you have a, such a way of clutching up at the end of their strikes and come back. Amazing. Uh, that, that was a, a great match by both of you guys. Great shooting by both of you. Incredible. Thank you. Yeah, um, yeah, so Julian, you move on to face uh, Mit Mr. Mitch Davies in the round of 16. So we'll try and get that match scheduled. Uh, talk to Mitch about that. Sure. And then Jeremy, um, great bowling man. Tough, tough loss. That, that A18 would have won a lot of preliminary matches. I, it would have lost a couple, but it would have won most of them. Um, but you made some cut money, and we'll get that sent out to you right away. Great playing, guys. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Awesome. No, you guys got to do an interview with them. Yeah. Marcus. Okay. <laughs> and he's gone. He's he's he out. Kills he's, me. he's out. He's out completely. Is this is this official starting here? I guess. Jess so. is just. Jess is just warming up, though, right? Come here. Are you warmed up, Jess? Are you good to go? Marcus. Jesus. Are you, are you ready? Okay, she's ready. Do you want to? You want her to talk or what? Marcus is already no, bowling. Let's, let's, let's go. Let's go. But but the camera's okay. not. The camera's not moving. though, carry. Yeah, on hers. Oh my god. You you have the best internet out there, eh? Al? Yeah. Oh yeah. A plus. Okay. There's nobody on the lane now. Is that good? Yeah. Okay. Is it? Yeah. I don't okay, know. Go game, <laughs> Jess. Uh, Marcus got a strike in the first frame. <laughs> hey, great shot by Marcus. I don't know if a single one of us have seen that, but what a shot! Awesome. Jess has not started just yet. We're waiting for. Uh... Oh, there we go. We're actually running. What do you call that? Hotspots. Oh, and our no, phone is And our phone, our phone is a lot better than the Wi-Fi. Jess has got a strike in the first frame. Solid uh, left pocket there. It's a beautiful shot. Awesome. As you can see by the still frame there. <laughs> <laughs> This is where we got to take the commentator skills out here so we can uh, make them visualize it. Oh, right pocket shot. Jess got a double. This is real nice, life right. happening right now. Good, good, great great yeah, shot, Jess. Uh, your, Marcus your hot is gone. Spot's really working really <laughs> strike, well. Strike spare. Okay. So close match so far. 30 in the first frame yeah, for each of them with Jess having a ball in hand. Is, 
this is right now on my computer is also a hot spot though, so everything's working. Jess got three three from the hop. Do I have a chat here that I can let Marcus know? Three. Yeah, there's a uh, private chat the on the right there. Yeah. For Jess. We got to take it off of the hot spot and try to connect to the internet because nothing's working here. <laughs> Not, oh, nothing's Mar working. Marcus just got burnt on the right corner there. What's that? Oh, Jess with the right three pin on a three bagger. Oh, wow. What's that? Okay, well, that phone's not working either. But that phone's off of my cellular data. All right, so Jeff starts with strike, 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 and then right three pin, and Marcus starts off with strike, corner spare, corner spare. Good starts for both of them. Yeah, except Jess just went left three after that, too, so she strike, 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 three, three. If there's anything so we've learned about three pin, three 99 pin, in the third. It, it, it's worked out good for some of our other matches, so and oh, it's a good omen. Oh, what a big nine spot. A nine spot for 114 in the fourth for Jess. <laughs> That stellar TV shot? Is that what they call that? All the young kids call that? Yeah. The, yeah, the yeah. TV shot. <laughs> TV shot. Is that what I said? I don't even know what I said. Yeah, no, oh, you're right. Yeah. Um, Le left pocket for Jess. Just to let. Right. It's coming through a little bit. A little bit by a little bit. Maybe we'll see a strike here soon from her. The great, <laughs> the great one about that is that we could see her turn around with all the pins in the pit. That's a strike for sure. Yeah. Um, just let people know how yeah, Jess got right. here. She qualified fourth overall. She uh, shot 23.59. Games four through eight, she shot 378, 317, 283, 318, 357. She played on real. Yeah. And then uh, we have Marcus Perkowski, um playing at Dell Lanes. He... Uh, Qualified 12th overall. He shot 2249. He had uh, a stretch there of 328, 365, 294 as well. We're just working on uh, getting Jess's video feed up there and running so you guys can all see it. Um, but from what I understand, she's playing really well right off the bat. Just had one hiccup frame. Marcus, Marcus is absolutely pounding that right pocket. He's thrown some really good shots in there. The corners were decent shots too, so it's a good start for Marcus there as well. Yeah. I don't know. We just kind of reloaded the, the feed for Jess here, so uh, I don't know. I don't know if you guys want to check it out again. But, uh, yeah. She opened, up, she opened up in seven. She got 180. She went head pin, deuce, deuce in the seven. So she got 180 in seven. Okay, awesome. There we oh, go. She's oh, back. she's moving. <laughs> there you go. A little, little light Jesse's on the left right there. Corner there. All right. Yeah, there now we we're go. cooking with fire, boys. There we go. Marcus. Now we got a good feed going on. Oh, Marcus shot just getting a little Marcus. excited there. Yeah, he had some good, some good fingers off of that shot and right into that left pocket. Great ball. And a solid spare from Jess. Awesome. There we go. Now I'm excited. <laughs> now we can see everything. <laughs> now I can actually see it. Oh, even though Jess is like literally standing right in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was like a good shot. Oh, yeah. a little light on the right, but Carrie's a little slider to the left. Right out of so her hand. She's, that uh, looks really good. Yeah. Oh, Marcus and another too. great shot from Marcus. Jeez. This is... This could be a very good match we've got going on here, Kerry. Yeah, it's uh, it's yeah. looking good. Uh... <laughs> Jess, Jess, Jess is sitting at 210 in the eighth. Oh, might have just Ooh. psyched her out a little bit with my commentary here. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I got too excited. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's a real thing. I've, I've never had the opportunity to see Jess throw, and she throws a really nice shot. That's awesome. 
I don't know if uh, you guys want to try the scoreboard thing again there, but I yeah, I see in the so bottom good. left there. It looks like they got it working. Yeah. Oh, just a little light on the right. Anyone? No, Close. left corner stayed up. Close. So Marcus has so, got yeah, a four bagger shit. there, and it doesn't carry over the scores. So we'll see. Uh, good corner spare. Awesome. There you go. Yeah, good start. 283 final. That's a great One game. bad frame in there in the fourth, but other than that, uh, pretty steady. Yeah, that's Marcus still got a Marcus got a good run going here too, though. Look at him go. Yeah. Look and at him go. Pumped up. Marcus. Five bagger for Marcus. Marcus is super excited. Super Bowl or not Super Bowl football Sunday. Gets to start his league tonight. He's gonna, you know, proverbially, you know, get rid of all his strikes before league tonight. <laughs> <laughs> he is unfortunately a Falcons Jess, fan, which Jess, is Jess is a here. real knock on him. He's on a five bagger. <laughs> it is what it is, she says. She don't care. She's, she's got That's right. Can't, can't she's control on, it. She, by the interview. And my girlfriend working on these four more monitors. She's just waiting. For I got it. We're good. Oh, I see the score sheet. Oh, 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 holy crap. Carrie, oh, yeah. Carrie got it. She, she had this game that we're going to play off with. Well, no, it won't score because I have five in a row. Hey! Oh, sure. Yeah. 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 All right, so big 10th frame here for Marcus working on a five-bagger. He could finish this game with eight eight straight oh, strikes. Uh, that would be a big start for him, but Jess, great first start for for Jess with a 283 solid game all the way through. One hiccup frame, but the rest of it was real solid. So, yeah, good start for both of them. Um, for the people that don't know, Jess is playing out of Timmins, and uh, we're probably crushing their cell phone bandwidth for the for this uh, <laughs> the entire <laughs> for this town. Game. Yeah. Oh my. <laughs> Because we, we can't. Al, Al in the background is yeah, having a little that, difficulty now. <laughs> yeah, but at least we at least we got the feed going. Oh. Oh, oh. oh. She's struggling. She's struggling. So Marcus opens 10, and that makes this match pretty close. Potentially 314 to 283. Probably not, though. 307 to 283. So that's, yeah, so good start for both of them. A 24 pin lead for Marcus going into the second game there. Good shooting by both of them. Um, we'll get Marcus in here and we'll see what we could do about Al and Jess. Yeah. Um, Al, we're probably not going to be able to hear you. It seems like your cell phone coverage is being destroyed right now, probably by the two streams we're stealing from it. But uh, Marcus, great start, 307? Mm, yeah, except for the 10th. <laughs> yeah, the 3 pin wasn't what you were going for? Yeah. Did, okay. Was that, was that partially because of the tangle? I mean, you were at a really good rhythm there, and then all of a sudden you had to take that break? No, it was just my bad. Like, it's... It's all on me. It doesn't matter about the tangle. You should still be able to throw it, right? Yeah, for sure. What happened on that shot? Just got a little quick or excited because um, you were going for an eight bagger? Eight bagger, I wish. Yeah, if you struck out, it was an eight bagger. I guess, yeah, you're right. No. <laughs> but yeah, uh, it is what it is. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, for sure. We all um, we all do it. Yep. Yep. And well, just started with a two eighty three, so um, great start for her as well. So it's a it's a tight match. It's uh, within two balls. Nothing Perfect. wrong with that. Um, we we'd love to talk to Jess, but um, we understand the technical difficulties it is with trying to run a tournament like this. Yep. Um, but if they're ready, 
we may just get you to jump into game two and keep this rocking and rolling while we figure out the, the technical side. Sounds good, buddy. All righty. Great All plan. Good, Thanks, buddy. Uh... Yeah. Okay, well, hopefully, uh, hopefully Jess and Al know that we're moving on to game two. Yeah, well, uh... All right, let's go. <laughs> no, no, they're messing with their camera. All right. <laughs> All right. Oh, okay. They got the message. They got the message. We're doing good. All right. All right. All right. I'll try and fix uh, Marcus's scoreboard now. So for our viewers out there, we apologize. <laughs> but Let's be fair. Nobody was ever thinking this was going to run super smooth. <laughs> no, we're, we're doing what we can, and... We're getting some live bowling matches, and uh, and it's been great. So, yeah. So Marcus yeah. starts with a strike, and Jess starts with a strike as well. There we go. At least we're we're able to see the scores now. That's the main the main part, so people can see the competition that's going on. We'd love to interview everybody um, while we can, but we totally understand if we can't do that. Yep, yeah, absolutely. So for oh, those viewers, you hear that? Be back. Was, we got was, you back, Al. Three hundred seven oh, to two eighty three oh. to start. Yeah. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, Jess with a spare. Uh, right yeah, so spare, Jess will strike corner spare, and Marcus will strike chop cherry. So. Chop cherry, my favorite. An advantage to Jess at the start of this game to be able to make up those 20-some pins that she's behind. Left pocket? Uh, good shot by Left Jess. Left pocket's good, yeah. The scoreboard there doesn't look like it's updating there, but... Yeah, it might, it might be a little behind, that's all. So Jess starts strikes, corner spare, strike. And we'll see if Marcus matches here. Uh, a little quick with his speed. His armor's a little behind on that shot. Oh, got tap, left corner. Good shot, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she looks displeased. <laughs> yeah, that was, uh, that was a money ball there. Yeah, it looks yeah. like a really good shot. Yeah, it's a good shot for sure. Hopefully she take advantage. Get Counting 30s here, while Marcus seems to be uh, working on a few things here, maybe. Yeah, he's a little out of sorts at the moment, so. Looks like he's struggling with his feet a little. Uh, Marcus has been around the game for a long time. I know I've seen him personally at a few nationals, so I'm sure he knows what he's doing, so I'm sure he'll figure it out soon. Yep, absolutely. Another good shot from this there. Yeah, she... She just pounds the pocket, eh? Yeah, she's uh, she goes really well. Uh, obviously, you guys have seen her at nationals and other tournaments uh, around here too. And she 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 should probably head out on the tournament scene a little bit more. And I think it would really improve the game. But yeah, uh, no, but yeah def definitely loves being exactly good at the Invitational. The last time we held it, deep on both sides of the of the bracket, but uh, she beat some boys on uh, the so. Okay, just put a little jig there because uh, she got a chop off too. So we're gonna do a little score correction because it marked her for an eight count. Okay. So, but the two, uh, the two fell, and it's on camera. So. <laughs> <laughs> There's video proof. Yep, that's right. Exactly. So that's why I should just make sure that we're aware of what was happening. What yep, was the dance sure. just to get our attention, or what? Basically, yes. <laughs> she, and she converts the shot. So that's she, keeping she her 30, miss. 30 coins. So that, other than that 3-3 three, three hole kind of thing, you know. And, and to yeah. be honest with Jess, uh, she, she's very steady on the middle. But when she gets off source, she gets really off source kind of thing, right? So, But uh, but when she's locked in like this, you know, she she's scary, as you can see from her qualifying in the game, right? Like she just went super hot. And I'm just pulling some. 
Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. She's super solid at the line. Really simple style. Uh, everything's square. Like there's nowhere. It, it's it's really obvious why she doesn't miss very often. That's for sure. Yeah, she's playing not really too well many right things now. to go wrong. Yeah, she's picking up all her pins right now too, which is huge. So she's not really, uh, you know, leaving anything up there. Even her little three three, you know, the little TV shot for fifteen. So she's not leaving any wood out there. So, which is mm -hmm. huge in these three game things. Right? So. We've, we've already seen a few matches there. I think in, well, I think you guys only released the first show so far, but you know, some of those matches went down to the, you know, ninth and tenth, if I'm not mistaken. So sorry to bring 100%. up bad memories, Carrie. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear you. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah 100 percent pins. The pins can definitely matter in this for sure. So, uh, so this especially is the intriguing... since you. You're not always playing at the same time. You could be a frame ahead or a frame behind or whatever, and you never quite know exactly what you need. So uh, it's really important that you just make sure of every pin out there because you just never know. Well, that's what, uh, you know, Chess is obviously kind of just doing her thing. Her mom just came back and looked at the uh, came and looked at the score, but there was very little communication. Jess is just going up there and doing her thing. Uh, let's see. The little eighth frame here, you know, she goes three, then pushes it left, trying to get on the inside for the spare. And now, yeah. you know, back-to-back -back open frames in 7-8. And Marcus with a strike in 6, you know, it's an opening for him. You know, if he goes 2-3 right here, he's right back in this in this second game anyways. Right? So, yeah, yeah, this is, a, this is a big shot for him to take, try to take back some of the momentum. Yeah, a little, little off frame there for Jess. So, uh, she counted 8, so she's sitting at 190 after 8. Uh, 190 after 8. Sorry, I'm just helping this out for Marcus. No worries. Oh, there's our scoreboard. It's back. Yep. So if Marcus goes like third, three, six, seven, eight, whatever, he's actually got the lead in the second match now. So and that was just another punch in nine. So there's yeah. an opportunity for Marcus to to pad his a little bit here if he can if he can figure it out for the rest of the second game. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Um, uh, Marcus, when people watch him play, he's a little bit unorthodox, but he, Marcus is one of those guys that can throw a ton of strikes and obviously he's proving that he can, uh, spare his, uh, bad shots too. Yeah, for sure. Well, that's what I love about bowling, right? Everybody bowls has their own style, their own rhythm, their own way of bowling and they're not right or wrong. Right? They've, they've all shown that it can be successful. So it's, yeah. uh, just about being a little bit more the most consistent, obviously, are the eight, right? Mm -hmm. Exactly. The ones that can figure out how to make their style work the best, right? Absolutely. Oh, that's a big yeah. shot by Marcus there, too. Those 30 counts are huge, yeah. Yeah, he's yeah. been pushing everything to the right-hand side, and, and that, that one he pulled right across the left-hand side, but it was absolutely flush left pocket with tons of rotation. So. Yeah, see, with that that's shot a... there, he basically takes the lead in this. Yeah, he's yeah, taking full guess. advantage of of Jess's head pins. Yeah, three three open frames in 79 doesn't help anything, especially no. after, well, th thankfully she had a hot start kind of thing with, you yep. know, between up to the sixth frame there, so. But that's yep. why it's a 10 frame game, right? That's right, exactly. She can come back and throw a great 10th frame here to get to 247 and, you know, put some pressure on Marcus to make sure that he, he's forced to throw some marks here yet. Yeah, absolutely. It's a good shot by Jess. Yeah. Yeah, good shots by both of them. Yeah, it's all about limiting the damage at this point, and hopefully we have a third game. Well, yeah, it's, it's three game total pinfall, so. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So at least, uh, at least somebody got ahead six hundred points or anything after two. Yeah, so. exactly. So as long as you know, we we've seen lots what? of matches, even in like you know the tours and stuff, where you know a hundred point lead going into the final game isn't good like you you still got to make sure of your shots right away because you just punch you open the first three frames or something and then all of a sudden somebody jumps on you and the match is right back into it so all so marcus right so marcus 274 for max yeah so max 274 just 47 so It'll be close. It'll still be within 50 pins at the most. And Marcus had a 24 pin lead going into this match. Yeah, so he gained another 27, right? So he'd be at 51 max if he converts. Yeah. 
Right, so it converts the half. So extra 15 pins going into the last game. Never hurts. Nope, never will. Good, good, <laughs> good, uh, good, good comeback for Marcus. So after struggling after what, four or five frames, I think he really pulled it together the last six. To yeah. you know, he's got he can walk out of this with a 274. So that's a you know, pretty great game. So. Yeah, absolutely. There you go. Awesome. Yeah. Back, sure. so, so Jets has a 530 double, and Marcus has 581 double, 51 pin difference. 51, which is difference. nothing really. Yeah. Um, and, is uh, Jess going to get in here for us, Al? And we'll... Yeah, we're going to try it right now. Perfect. So we'll just wait for Jess to sit down and get ready for this interview. We'll bring Marcus in. Oh, sorry, Jess. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how's it going? Good. How are you doing? Just sweating buckets. Oh, hi, Jess. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Sweating buckets. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> it's a it's a quick pace. Yeah. <laughs> it's really different than playing league or most tournaments. It is well, it is quick? Maybe, that's for sure. You know, this is the second time playing four and a half months. So. Yeah. The, the, you're doing very good considering. That's for sure. You're really yeah. solid on the middle. You don't look like you've missed a beat. That's for sure. So. No, well, I missed the middle one out of one time out of ten frames, so pretty proud of that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, Marcus, obviously we can't see you, but we can hear you. Um, oh. So you're sitting at a 581. Oh, there you go. Hey, bud. You can see me. <laughs> oh. Yeah, oh, yeah we, we can see you. We can see you. Yeah. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> uh, so Marcus, you're sitting at 581. Jess, you're at 530. So you both are playing a really good pace. Um, it's just 51 pins difference, so literally a, black, a couple of black marks. Thank you very much. Good luck, Jess. <laughs> Play well, Jess. Go good, guys. Bye, Marcus. <laughs> Play well. Oh, Marcus cracks me up. <laughs> Yes, yeah, me too. <laughs> he's, he's, he's the perfect guy to have a, on this match where it's been a bit of a debacle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, with all the technical technical issues and all that stuff. But um, we're making it work. Obviously, the product is getting better and better at each as we go here. So uh, we're going to see a pretty good last game. Jess is going to, I'm sure, is going to come out shooting and... Hopefully, clamor back to Marcus because we want to see a great finish. That's what this product is all about. Absolutely. Uh, Jess getting on the approach, trying to pressure on right off the hop. That's right. Oh, a little heavy though. Good shot. Right, right, Good shot. Great corner. Yeah, it was a little bit there. She got to do with it. So I'll let you guys finish commentating this while I get uh, our next match all lined up here. <laughs> so so Jess was saying this is just the second time that she's bowled in the last, like, six months or whatever? Uh, could very well be. Uh, obviously, I was qualifying for this, what, in December? Yeah. But she, yeah, I guess we haven't had many at least. Uh, we opened up till what, February or something? So she might have bowled a little bit then, but we bowled the end match for... Uh, the five pin pro league too so that might have been the last time she bowled I'm not sure well it, it doesn't look like she's missed a step like no nope. well so uh, much you... yeah she's just a natural kind of thing right she's uh she followed mom's mo or mom's foot i guess right then her dad uh, is a pretty smooth bowler too. you don't see him too much because he doesn't really bowl tournaments and stuff like that but He's a very smooth bowler. So obviously her brother is Sean Nugent as well, which you guys you might be familiar with. So, so they're definitely a bowling family. Yeah, that's awesome. It's it's uh, it's always crazy to me how different everybody is after like long breaks like we've been, like we've oh, had, and God. how quickly you know some people will struggle for a little while, and then some people pick it up again right away, like they didn't miss any time. And it's uh, it's always interesting. I wonder if it has more to do with. You know, simplicity of styles. You know, there's there's people that have a little bit more of an un, unorthodox style, and a, a lot of it is timing and 
you know, trying to get that rhythm back, whereas you can get away with a little bit more with a, a simple style like uh, like Jess has. Yeah, she got tapped there on the right corner. So in the right corner, Marcus is off to a good start too. So Jess is a, in a little bit of a hole right now. Uh, we'll have to get some marks going here. Yeah, Marcus is uh, looking really comfortable and really confident right now. So, uh, has uh, Mark has Marcus bowled at all? I don't know what you guys said in your interviews there, but uh, has he been on the lanes at all? Or he, I know you mentioned previous that he was uh, it was his first night of league tonight or something like that. But has he hit the lanes at all, or is it or is he kind of going in cold as well? Yeah, truthfully, I'm I'm not a hundred percent sure. Okay, I believe I believe it's. Uh... He's coming in a little cold. I don't think he's been at the lanes a whole bunch. No. Oh, that's fair. This way they can both use the same excuse, right? But someone's going to come up on top, so. That's right. One thing I found playing this, though, is that it, it, it kind of put me back into the right mindset in order to, like, you know, analyze just a different kind of focus when you're playing in something like this with, you know, something on the line. Um, kind of put me back into almost mid-season form right away because you're forced to. Yeah, that's the thing. I find myself personally, you know, when you when I, between when Christmas is like the worst bowling of the year for me, and then after Christmas when it becomes kind of tournament season, that you tend to pick it up a little bit more. Because I find that there's not much tournament as at the beginning of the season up north, anyways, up here in Ontario, anyways. Uh, sure. But at least now they have the club tour kind of starting up too, so, uh, so if you hit that, I mean, it's a good thing. Yeah, Anyways, exactly. Back, back to this match. Yeah, those, those Mark, tournaments Mark. kind of give you a big jump start for the rest of the season, so definitely worthwhile playing those early events. Uh, I mean, uh, Adam Weber was always like, always raved about us doing our, our 20 game marathon, even though it was no tap, but. You know, you play 20 games over overnight. You you battle a lot of stuff and mental fatigue, and it, it just kind of it kind of gets you back into the rhythm of how you're supposed to do things and how you prepare really quickly. So oh, get yeah, out there sure. and start doing matches See, as early as you can. Just shoot balls and get in that, that muscle kind of thing going on, right? Even on good and bad shots, you know, you know how to. It teaches you how to adjust, move forward, and stuff like that into the big tournament seasons and stuff like that, right? So Absolutely. We all, and we all know those WCBT events and whether they're marathons or hot sprints. So, you know what, you got to be able to get through sometimes bowling 20 games a day, you know, so. Yep. Absolutely right. So Marcus is playing pretty hot right now. He starts with strike, corner spare, corner spare, double. So he's, uh, he's feeling pretty good right now. Just threw a great strike in five. She just missed right on six. Um, if Marcus yeah. keeps playing this way, Jess is gonna have to. Jess is gonna have to start throwing some yeah. strikes here pretty quick. Yeah, Jess is gonna need to string something closing this game here because uh, Marcus is throwing a lot, like you said. So another one there. So yeah, yeah. Jess gets tapped. A little penalty shot there. Yeah. Uh, so she's so she's gonna max out. She's got about a she's got about a hundred in the six here. If she gets her fifteen. And then she gets about a uh, hundred and eighty to bag out, so she's sitting at two eighty max. Marcus is already you know, two hundred after six without even counting anything. So with a, with a fifty pin bonus as well. With a fifty pin lead, exactly. So it's going to be tough, but let's see. Uh, she hasn't come back here to check on scores or anything like that. So she just, I think she's just trying to to grind it out, kind of thing, right? She doesn't want to know that you know Marcus is playing well right now, kind of thing, right? She's yeah. hoping that she can get it together and. And it'll be good enough, kind of thing. Yeah, exactly. Because at the end of the day, she can't, she can't control what Mark is doing, right? So, and, you're absolutely right. And, and he's hot. He's hot right now. Yeah, all you can do is control yourself. And, you know, you go out there, you throw a five-bagger, and, and the other opponent punches a couple times. The momentum switches really quick. But Marcus is looking really locked in at this moment. Yeah. Did Marcus play another match, or he, he was able to get a – a buy, I think, because someone backed out. Is that is that what happened? Yeah, he he got a buy because uh, Rick Heinrich wasn't going to be able okay. to find time. So, okay, well that's that's fine. Right, it's the way she goes, and it's uh it's definitely I can just imagine the a scheduling nightmare that it's been for you for uh, trying to get these all these matches in place. So it's uh... <laughs> what, are you, what are you talking about? It's not like I'm I've been sitting seven hours behind this computer today. 
<laughs> no, we appreciate we appreciate what you're doing, Carrie. Anyways, I do, and I know, and I know the guys from Timmins and Nat the proprietor here. So she's she re- she really likes following along, and it's cool that she's able to have Timmins representation in it. So yeah, and that's a big part of why we wanted to do this too is getting to see people that we haven't you know seen play before, and get to see centers that we haven't been able to play in before, and get the yeah. exposure to those people that deserve it. It's just not a a stop stop that everyone gets to go see all the time, right? So. Yeah. No, nope, exactly. So, hopefully, there won't be any more pandemics to, to put a stop to this stuff moving forward. So. Yeah, fingers crossed. So, Marcus punches eight. He's got 253 and eight. Jess also punched eight, so she can be maxed out at 136 and eight. Yeah, I kind of think she knew that she was down 50 pins and she's sitting with 130 and eight or whatever. Yeah. Pretty sure she might have mailed this one in already, so I wouldn't. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. That, yeah thanks for pointing. Blame her. I don't know why my girlfriend's finger is there. But... <laughs> thanks, thanks for that. <laughs> we'll, we'll just refresh that screen there. Maybe be <laughs> Thank you for refreshing. <laughs> there you go, Jess. That's a great shot. Hopefully, she can uh, dig out here, make it a two twenty six. You know, seven fifty triple, make it reasonable at least. Not bad for not bowling for the past, you know, five, six months. But, oh, exactly. uh, props to market. Props to Marcus, so just ripping it up. If it wasn't for those two head pins at eight and ten there, you'd have another monster game. And, you know, even with a cleanup here, he's got a, you know, 860, 870. So that's a hell of a triple. Good on him. Hopefully he kept him for his league. Yeah, probably yeah. not. <laughs> well, he's already I, I, drinking beer, so we'll see how many beers he has before the I'd, <laughs> I'd be totally gas playing three games in 30 minutes right now. Oh, yeah. There, there's like three flights of stairs to walk into our bowling alley, and I'm always lit just coming up the stairs. So. <laughs> <laughs> right. Al, you are my spirit animal. <laughs> uh, sure, are you sure? Yeah, no, I don't know. <laughs> tough, tough, tough finish for Jess there. Obviously, a Wednesday. So, I'm sure she gave it her all, but I'll uh, I'll let her come and have a seat after collecting her thoughts here. Yeah, for sure. A recap, all right. Awesome, thank you. Uh, just gonna see what her final score was there. Why is that keep? One seventy-four. One seventy-four. Five burgers, three pin. Alrighty. Fuck. It's hard to bowl when you have a banged up knee, guys. It's hard to bowl. Yeah. Don't doubt it. Yeah, totally um, fair. Great playing, Jess. You guys hear I me? know it's not. Yes, we can. Okay, sorry. Uh, <laughs> it's not the finish that you wanted, obviously, but um, not bad for, like you said, sore knee and haven't played for a long time. So. I was, I was struggling this game. I can build a in there and try to work through it, but it's too painful. Yeah. You no, know, for sure. Oh, we hope you uh, get that healed up for your part of the Timmins team. Are you not for the Pro League? Yeah. Yeah. You better get that healed yeah. up for the competition. <laughs> hopefully. Uh, hopefully. <laughs> uh, Al, Al, will, Al will sweeten the deal, I'm sure. Uh, Marcus. Oh, I'm, I'm sure I'll, I'll get pulled if uh, I bowl like this. I can worry about that one. <laughs> He's already laughing at me. <laughs> uh, Marcus, your beautiful face is closer than ever, but uh, great playing, man. Is that better? Eight, 868. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's perfect. You're good. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, no problem. Great playing. Um, Sorry. Uh, good, Matt. Good, good. I, keep, I keep cutting out, so it's kind of hard to hear. No, no worries, Marcus. Um, Jess and Marcus, thanks again for playing. Um, we will get that prize money to you, Jess, as soon as we can. Yeah. And uh, thanks again for playing. Good match, Jess. Thanks. thanks. Yeah, you too, thanks. All right, Marcus, thanks, we'll see you. Good luck in the next match. Thanks, buddy. See you guys in Calgary. All yeah, right. Looking forward to it. You, uh, awesome, you guys need to talk to Al before we go? Or... Nah, you're perfectly he, fine. He's, wait, he's waiting go. on standby there himself. Okay. <laughs> tell tell Al to sit down. We'll talk to him. Carrie said sit down. We'll talk to you later. <laughs> <laughs> All right. He walks away now. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, awesome. Jess. Thanks, Jess. All Good right. bowling, guys. Thanks, guys. Thanks.